On behalf of the Ministry of New Foundations International, I would like to share a teaching tool that God has used around the world for many years in many different languages. This tool, God's Plan for His Church, directs you back to the Bible which provides the necessary tools for planting new churches where none exist and renewing existing churches. This video presentation will divide this tool or manual into seven chapters. Chapter 1, Returning to the Bible. Chapter 2, God's Purpose and God's Plan for His Church. Chapter 3, Understanding God's Plan from the Book of Acts. Chapter 4, How to Develop Faithful Leaders Like Jesus and Paul Did. Chapter 5, How to Develop Strong Churches. Chapter 6, How to Put in Order God's Family. Chapter 7, How to Apply God's Plan for His Church into Your Life, Family, and Church. You will see faithful disciples who have completed the manual. We will also share with you some of the translations of God's plan for His church, along with testimonies of how God has used this tool over the years. Sing them over again to me, wonderful the six groups here that represents the six sections in Acts and they're now looking at all the keys in the scriptures and they're um, filling them in and then later they will have a spokesman from each group will share with the whole group the keys contrast it with today's church and then the changes they want to make Since my life He controls Since I gave my heart to Jesus The longer I serve Him, the sweeter He grows The longer I serve Him, the sweeter He grows. 
in us. We are the Democrat on that TV, so And then when we have orderly in our life with Christ, our marriage will be affected. Hey, Tom, that click on that TV. And then leave the families in order that the church the church will be in order. If we are with Christ, it will affect you. All will happen, it will affect you the world. Going, he's got a vision for 2016, 2017, all the way for ten, his 10-year ten vision to 2018 to reach Vietnam for Christ. The, the, the support is from his son. Okay. His son now and so his son yeah. is supporting him yeah, support to do this to ministry. Yeah. So the ministry self-supporting is no Western funds, right? Yeah, yeah, now. Uh, it's local, now, it's Vietnamese self-supported. Self yeah, yeah. Praise the Lord for that. Um, so this is an indigenous movement, it's it's Vietnamese movement, and it's self-supporting movement, yeah. and empowered by the Holy Spirit. Feasting at the celebration of 20, 
uh, Vietnamese uh, brothers and sisters who have finished, completed the manual, which is a task beyond beyond belief. And um, so we're so thankful for this, and this is the meal that they're having prepared. A couple over there that's already started planting churches. They've already planted three and have a 10-year vision. planting is this material has got uh, information that's derived exclusively from the Word of God that's the only but this one is fabulous because this actually dissects the book of Acts of the Apostles and gives you all that is needed you see that's a great thing and you know we by the grace of God for India we have it in Telugu and we also have it in Tamil and uh, we also have it in Malayalam see and this is a district in Tamil Nadu. This is also another district in Tamil Nadu called Tiruvallu district. This is another district in Tamil Nadu called Kanchipura district. This one is a district in Andhra Pradesh called Chito. And uh, this district is uh, a very important district because this is a border town between Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh. And this is a district called Tiruvannamalai. This district is the one that is infested with Naxalites. And there are far too many Naxalites in this area. And we are, we are providing this training to the churches so that the churches will be able to help the people. And this is North Arkad district called Velo district in Tamil Nadu. This is Trichy district in Tamil Nadu. Kanyakumari is a down south district. Uh, me and also my uh, ministry and thank God that God helped uh, me to uh, you know, keep serving the Lord faithfully. And I uh, thank God that for this training, I come here and be part of the training and thank God that God uh, teach me through the friends and through team and through the, uh, the Word of God and it's very important to know about God's willing for me to, to follow. And I want to share about um, the, the lessons that I learned, especially from uh, part, uh, part 4, 5 and 6. This is the very important principles for all uh, leaders uh, should know. And not only me that learn about these uh, lessons, but also when I go back home and I share uh, all the important lessons to, to my team. And they are leaders and we all together learn about God's love and God's way. And through the, through the uh, blessing of God, we, um, we apply what we have learned to uh, when we serve God. Since then we have been able to establish 13 churches. I have been attending so many different kind of conferences and trainings, but this conference is particularly this, this, this type of training has been a very different for me. First time ever I have uh, learned about, the, uh, about reaching the people group. And uh, yes, we didn't, we didn't do it before, but since I have learned and it will be my focus. Thank you. Thank you. And all, this, all of us love you too. Yes, we love you all. What we learned from you, from the manual, from this, from this world, we know that it's just the beginning now. 
quan trọng là chúng tôi áp dụng những cái, cái kế hoạch này trên thực tế ở đất nước chúng tôi uh, sẽ giảng cho một số dân tộc và đào tạo tiếp những người mà học những sách này họ dạy cho những sáu mươi tám dân tộc. We will go out to uh, the enriched groups as, and we also train those who we can uh, who are able to uh, teach others Amen. to continue Amen. the work. Uh, actually, this has been the greatest time in my life. You know, after I read this book and the previous one. Yeah. And uh, you know, I called this book as a, a book of a changing life. Yes. And yes. It, really, it has done a lot in my life. Yes. And in my house. Yes. And the church. Yes. Here's how they've gone back for the last, what, two, three years? Yeah. And started implementing uh, this a biblical model of church planting and family and marriage and, and, and going into to unreached people groups like the Pygmies. Wow. They've taken these biblical principles and how it has just turned their ministries upside down. Like, for instance, the Holy Spirit, emphasizing yeah. the Holy Spirit yeah. as the power and the one that's sending. And, and then we just go on and on with these things. Surely we would love to share this with you, brethren. Because this has actually done a lot of things in our ministry, more especially in our ourselves, our homes, the church where we are, and also the churches that we have planted and the churches that we were already planted, in which we are trying to remove the foundation, the first foundation which is not firm. Yes. And we want to rebuild, to put a firm foundation with the guidance of this book. Consider all the works thy hands have made. I see the stars, I hear the the purpose of God for the nations. Praise the Lord, all nations. Extol Him, all peoples. God's purpose is that He be praised. That's what God's purpose is in the world. Oh, that we could get a heavenly mindedness about the world so that we see it the way God sees it. Lives are a vapor. Eternity is long. Heaven is ecstatic with joy. Hell is horrific with pain. These are the great realities. Oh.